Welcome everybody. We out in the garden today um, doing maintenance on the Mali windmill. This wind turbine has been out uh, running I would estimate approximately four years now and the principal thing that I had to do is uh, fit new blades which are carved out of wood. I used Maranti for that. Um, yeah, what happened, the, the blades that were operational four years started, especially on the outer edges here, they, they were quite nicked. I mean, they turn at fairly high RPM um, when this machine is manufacturing five amps of electricity that's around about 60 to 70 watts. I mean, it's turning at just under 1,300 RPM. Anyway, there are new blades fitted now. Um, I've also fixed up the rust on the rest of the alternator and so forth a little bit. Um, and I'll give you a little tour on how the tower works here to, to raise the wind turbine. Just in case anybody is interested, um, I've written a manual on how I built this wind turbine. Um, and anybody who has access to and the skills to operate a laden milling machine can build this wind turbine from this manual. It includes a lot of photographs, um, sketches and drawings of all the parts. And then also to remember there's lots of more little movies on my YouTube channel about this wind turbine. Um, so yeah, I think one can learn quite a lot about the overview how this machine works. So let me take away the camera from the tripod and I'll give you a little walk around of the tower. The tower takes the machine just under 10 meters um, off the ground. So we can see at the moment it's actually in the horizontal position here. The, the tower works a little bit like a crane almost. Um, it has two places where guy wires attach further down here is another one that's of course important and also if I go a little bit further away um, you'll notice how this pole bows because the alternator is roughly seven kilos heavy so it is quite considerable and I don't know how good one can see this on the movie but there's actually on the top here there's like another set of wires which prevent the pole from bending too much. When we go to the base of a pole here, um, the, these two poles, I call it the double pole, that's actually cemented into the ground. It's approximately 90 by 90 by 90 centimeters, call it a cubic a meter of cement and then at the bottom here I've got a winch which pulls on a wire that ends up on this arm here um, so it pulls it down and right at the end here we can see the three phases that come from the alternator at the moment I've got them shorted together but just now when I raise the wind turbine um, acts a bit like a brake and then if there's a bit of wind the machine doesn't start turning out of control. Just in case it's useful I'll also um, just walk here up to the rear of the machine so you can see. So yeah hopefully after this bit of maintenance the machine will be back up and running again and producing um, power for our house. Just to end off with, um, my very first wind turbine that I built, um, I built according to the plans of Hugh Piggott. And if you're interested in seeing that wind turbine, you can find it on my website, which is miniaturemachining.webs.com. There's a, there's a tab on the website top right that says wind turbine. That's a slightly bigger machine. Um, yeah, but it's basically from Hugh Piggott, which I uh, learned the principles of wind turbines. Thank you very much for watching.